Genesis 1 tells us again that creation points toward a creator. And so according to the promises of Christ, that if you seek for him, you will find him. So that's the promise, that all true seekers will find Christ. So uh, believe me, this is playing field as level as it needs to be. Um, I, I consider myself to be a knowledge seeker, and I've, I've uh, went to church as a child. Yeah. Okay. Listen, I, you know, I understand what it's like to not want to be in church. I got dragged every week, so I, I, I hear you there. Well, no, it's just a choice thing. It's not, I don't get dragged there anymore. Okay, yeah, I, I understand. And I'm just trying to let you know that I know what it's like to feel out of place and not fully understand or embrace necessarily everything there. So you're, you're not alone. But I will say this, is that um, there's a difference between, there's a difference between, please stand right on this. This is not a tax on you. This is, a, this is something to spur on further discussion further thought here at the university level. There is a difference between uh, being open-minded and empty-minded. And here's what I mean by that. Now, I'm not suggesting you are, my friend. We know that George Washington was the first American president. And so, given all the facts, the eyewitness accounts, the historical accounts, the signatures, you know, whatever, we have plausible data that clearly suggests that George Washington was the first American president. So if you take the position that I'm going to be open-minded, I'm not too sure I wasn't there, I haven't seen it for myself, I don't know if George Washington really was the first American president, then you're loaning yourself to more of an empty-mindedness because you're ignoring the strong, conclusive evidence and you're not following where the evidence is. And so I, I'd just like to challenge everyone here tonight to deal with the truth claim and not put yourself in a neutral position as though it was just open-mindedness. Uh, it, it doesn't necessarily reflect that. Go ahead. So the main thing you made was whether or not it's true. Not do you like the Bible or is the Bible accurate? So my question is, there's two hypotheses here. One is God, the other would be no God or evolution, however you want to present it. Drake, uh, he presented the evidence, non-biblical evidence, for his belief that God exists. I was curious to know what was the evidence that was presented for no God? You have to define your terms, and uh, there are a number of gods that we could have debated or not debated. Um, I looked at the definition of God that is accepted by, by my opponents and looked at the evidence uh, against that point of view. Um, we could come back at a different day and find some Canadian ex-Muslim to debate Allah or whatever, um, but I think my other point is that there's really no way to get from what Drake said as far as, even if you accept that all is true, which I don't, but even if you accept everything that Drake said is true about design and, and all that, to a something that requires you to believe in Jesus. It could just as easily be, be the Jewish God. It could just as easily be Allah. It could just as easily be Brahma. But if you believe in the wrong God, you're going to burn forever in hell. And so I chose to debate the God that my opponent believes in, and that he's trying to get you to pray to accept into your heart and commit your life to him. That's, that's still my question is not which God do we believe in. My question is what evidence is there against the hypothesis for a God? You, you, have, you have to define what God means. Or do, you, do you define God as, as a God pantheism? Be, a God is, would uh, be a, any God. Any God. What evidence is there? Okay, for evolution. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just curious what evidence is there for it. <laughs> it's really, uh, scientifically, the, the burden of proof is on the person who's trying to prove it. Uh, not the, it it's difficult to... to Prove a negative. So you have to uh, look at the person's hypothesis of whatever it is they propose and look at their evidence in support of that. And I simply don't see convincing evidence in, in support of that. Okay. Thank you. Yes, next question.
listen, I, I, um, I just want to definitely clarify what I'm saying here. I understand that words mean different things to different people. Uh, this intelligent design movement was not what I was trying to justify or support tonight. It's simply this, that there is an intelligent designer, and so that's why I kept using those terms. I, I feel like that was fair. I didn't know what other terms to use to describe it. Because my question is it's evolution and it happened, and then if there is intelligent design, why do we have an opinion? If we weren't having a diet that we at one time needed to because of sport and we no longer need to because of why do we have an opinion? I'm not sure it was a stomach, but that's the best guess right. we have. You know, my wife asked why did God only give me half a brain. I don't know. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry I'm not a scientist. I don't feel qualified. <laughs> Well, we have a, a lot of vestigial organs, and we have a lot of uh, waste of DNA that apparently has no function. Uh, there's an awful lot of things about evolution, uh, about us, about other animals, uh, that simply don't appear to have a, have a logical function. So, um, but if you look at it evolutionarily, at some point in the past, that kind of organ did have so, uh, yeah, I would regard that as, as evidence against intelligent design. Uh, I, I would also say that, uh, you know, God, if he designed us, he designed us to have a billion years worth of death to get up to humans. Uh, every animal that has lived or, or plant that's lived up until fairly recently has died usually by being eaten, um, which is a very violent history, uh, which doesn't speak very well of a compassionate God. Uh, right side, go ahead. This one's from Bob. Um, as a, I guess, agnostic or non-theist, however you call yourself, how how do you make 